Gentlemen, welcome back to another Gran Turismo 4 video. Today, I have something very special to showcase. This is the all-new 360 chase cam for Gran Turismo 4. If you're not exactly sure what this does, you can pretty much rotate the chase camera around the car, just like you can in GT7. Although it behaves a little bit differently than GT7, but we'll be going over that anyway. These codes were found by a Japanese modder. I unfortunately don't know how to say their name, but I will be linking their Twitter in the description as well as their YouTube channel if I can find it. At the moment, I only have codes for the NTSC Japan and North America versions of the game. I did try to reverse engineer the code for PAL and GT4 online. I'm not too familiar with stuff like this to begin with, but I did give it a try and unfortunately I just wasn't able to find them. However, if you're watching this video at a later date, there might be a chance that PAL and GT4 online versions of this code are available now. Just check the description for any updates. However, I would ask that you don't request it from any modders because chances are if it's not in the description of this video, it's just not available at the time being. So just keep that in mind. Now this does behave a little bit differently from the Gran Turismo 7 camera, and the difference is you only need to move the right thumbstick along the x-axis to fully rotate the camera. Whereas with GT7, you can spin the camera around the car over and over again, as long as you keep rolling the right analog stick around in circles. However, for GT4, it's just straight left and straight right. Now, although this is a really cool feature to have, it is a little bit impractical, especially if you use the right analog stick for acceleration and braking, because it's obviously going to interfere with the 360 camera. Whereas if you're accelerating and you have the right analog stick pushed forward, your camera is going to move just a slight bit. Same thing with braking. And once you actually want to rotate the camera around, it's just going to throw you off and it's going to interfere with your accelerating and braking. However, if you use the face buttons or the triggers for the acceleration and braking, then it shouldn't be too much of an issue for you. Although I highly recommend you don't do it around corners because I guarantee you're gonna be driving very sloppy if you're not looking where you're going. However, if you're watching the replay, then it is absolutely perfect. And in the replays, you will have a little bit more control over the camera since you can move the right analog stick forward and backward as well. And that'll just give you a little bit more control as opposed to using it in live races. Now, if the movement is a little too snappy for you, you can enable silenced Gran Turismo 3 chase camera dampening settings. I will have a link to that in the description as well. But essentially, if you have smoother camera dampening settings, then you will also have a smoother and slower 360 camera on top of that instead of the really snappy rapid motion that this does by default. So that's pretty much all I have to share with you guys today. If we're gonna find the codes for the PAL and GT4 online versions, I do need this to be a community effort. I'm sure somebody will come up with codes for it at some point, but it's just not available at the time of this video. However, if you're watching this in the future, make sure you check the description in case that ever gets updated. And if it's not in the description, then chances are it's not found yet. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Gran Turismo 4 content, and I will see you in the future.